You're watching Chewing the Cut with my Penny Rowe and Lynn Robertson. And before I get cremated, I'm going to eat a load of popcorn kernels. Nice. Yeah, that's a plan. Snack and sadness. Well, it's more like, what's that noise coming from the cremation machine? Oh. Oh, it's me. Pop, 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 pop. But hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? I've got something about a gay film, not a porno, yeah. an actual film, and something about a famous child. Oh, that's exciting. Not mine, because I don't have any children. No. Silo. <laughs> Anyway, um, on screen now you can see our contact info. So if you're social services for these children, it's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. Not got any children. Yeah, that I'm you're aware any. of. Oh. There was that one weekend in Zante. No, there was never a weekend, never. Not a weekend, a whole week. There was never a there was never a situation where that might have happened. No. And there's the names of people who have commented on our social media posts. Scroll along the bottom of the screen. It's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. I've got a story about a Boris. Right, not Becker or Johnson. Right, this is a, a small furry version of Mar Boris. Boris Johnson. No, a small furry version of Boris. Okay. A meerkat. A meerkat? A meerkat called Boris. Excuse me, winter pups. Okay. Um, um, but yes, Boris has leapt 30 feet off the side of a boat into the sea. Why was, why was, why was he on the boat? Oh. Look at that. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, why was he yeah. on a boat? He, he, was, he was being shipped. Why? Right. Um, so he's going to a zoo. Why sad? Why is he going to a zoo and not being free? Because he's incapable of being free. He's got special dietary requirements. Um, so, so they can't live on in the in the wild, wilderness because there's there's no oat milk. So he's he's having to go to a zoo to get oat milk for his lattes. Just him. Just him on his own. Yes, okay. he's the only lactose intolerant Me meerkat that we have. The whole world. <laughs> um, oh, why? Yeah. Why did he jump in? He seemed, looks quite chilled, actually. In that basically, paragraph. he 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 got free of his cage, okay. right, and on a container ship, and basically went ah and ran. Oh. I didn't realise he was jumping into the sea. Oh, right. he survived. That's nice. because the captain of the boat jumped in to save him. That's the captain. That's the captain. Mm. I think there's the the, the arm situation. I'm approving. I don't know if I don't know if I I don't know about the face because it's it's uh, watered. <laughs> it's um, watered. No, no, there's watering. I mean, but that, but you know, in general, well done That's you. Cute. Yeah. So Tom, thirty-three. Okay. Um. Right. Is the, is the captain? <laughs> it's a bit young <laughs> for you. <laughs> you can't go oh. for someone that's half your age. Um. <laughs> How long did that take for you to realise what I've said? It's like, hey, wait, no, he's not half my age. <laughs> um, but yes, they're, they're in a cat carrier style box, um, and he basically escaped. Is he okay now? He's okay now. Which it's okay. zoo is he in? I'm not telling you because you'll want to go. Is it in? Is it a British? <gasps> Where is it? Is it the lakes? Is it the lakes? Is it the zoo in the lakes? Axe Valley Zoo. I don't know that one. In Axminster in Devon. Oh, it's too far to go. Oh, no, I told you. Yeah. Not that interested. I'll just go Blackpool. <laughs> see the ones there. Or Chester. Or Chester, yeah. Chester's where you get to go in in a little dome. Yes, you do. You pop your little head up and be a meerkat. Mmm. Yeah. Um, but that's a, a sweet story. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, not what you were expecting, one. was it? No, I thought you were going to say, like, you know, like somebody shoved up his arse or something yes. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Normally. Because yeah. that would be a normal thing to do. Yeah. Talking about arses. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, toilet paper situation. How, how do you? What do you use, use to, for toilet paper? Straw. 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 <laughs> Straw and foliage. Okay, because you know I like a flavoured toilet roll. It's not flavoured. It is. It's a you don't eat it. It's scented. So I use coconut flavoured toilet roll. Scented. 
You see, you see, like I'm not going to stop saying flavored. It's not flavored though, Mike. It's scented. What's the difference between flavored and scented? Flavored is the way you will eat it. Okay. And what if I eat toilet so, roll? Well, then, it's, but got, it's not designed. What to if be, I've got mm. that thing where I, I, I eat things that I'm not supposed to? I mean, that's that's you know that's up to you if you want to make fun of people with eating disorders. That's fine, Mike. I might have that. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> that's the way you want to go. Just saying. That's fine. But yes. So, um, but other people got like wet wipe situations. Some people like to use a wet wipe. Large area that you were <laughs> referring like, to. They might have a front bottom. Being inclusive. I'm just, well, I'm just letting you <laughs> dig the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's called rimming. <laughs> um, okay. But yes, so this man has, has been left a little bit, shall we say, red in the, in the cheeks. Oh, okay. Um, as he's not used wet wipes. He accidentally has used... Um, an angle grinder. An angle grinder, yes. Everyone in the bathroom, an accidental <laughs> angle grinder. He was there going, I'm not sure why. Grind that shit <laughs> off. <laughs> no, he's accidentally been using um, cleaning wipes. Okay. Instead of their um, toilet wipes. Look at his face. So that's typical of like the, the media, isn't it? When somebody's done something, they make them hold the thing that's caused them a problem. Like, like sad face. Um, <laughs> To yes. be fair, it says flushable toilet wipes. Yes. So I would, you know, if I was taking a glance, I would think it was. <laughs> I would think it would be used for you until I would look at it properly. And it says kills ninety nine percent of bacteria and it's bleach free. COVID might have been might have been created because of COVID. <laughs> so yes, ring sting COVID. Um, Leon Gleed. Okay. Um, not he glad. His Twenty nine. Has suffered soreness in an intimate area. Soreness. Soreness, yes. Um, it came about because he was using them and tried them a couple of times oh, before okay. the soreness started to be an issue. Oh, so not just once. No. And a, a number because of big of shit. Messy shit. No, 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 as in an occasion. Oh, going back and occasion, then coming back. Another and then occasion. Go, right, okay, yeah. right, okay. Um, <laughs> that he, he realised after several trips to the toilet, he developed a bit of a rash and irritation. Oh, around his staff. Nethers, yes. Chocolate starfish. Chocolate starfish. Yes. Oh, bless. Um, is he, is he, did, he, did he have to seek treatment? He did. He spoke to his girlfriend and said, look. Oh, he spoke to his girlfriend. First, he said, I've got a bit of a problem with these. And she laughed at him. Shit. Did he sort of like touch his toes and splay his cheeks? <laughs> can <laughs> so, he look for it? It's like, well, tonight when you're pegging me, can you just check? Um, what was that face for when I said pegging? I don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> you don't like that kind of no. talk. Okay. Tonight while you're shoving a dildo up my arse. I'm not doing that, Mike. I don't know <laughs> no, what kind of what friend said. you think I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, he's used Sudacrim for all oh. over a week. Oh, He's starting to feel a bit better. Did he do a blister? It, it wasn't pleasant. It looked like a punched lasagna. Oh. Yeah. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> And a little bit aroused. You see, uh, well, the, 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 the moral of that story is just read things properly. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you read the packaging. Mm. And to be fair, you shouldn't really be flushing them down the toilet either. It said disposable. I didn't say flushable. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. You see. If you're disposable more than flushable, um, remember you can always reach out to us on our social media at the Cud TV. It was a tenuous link. I went there. It was, but yeah. But it brings us to our story of the week. Does it? Yes. Now, it's been, weather's been weird. It's been hot one minute, cold the next, Ooh. it's been sweaty. You don't know what to do with yourself, do you? Just lie in a pool and wait. You don't know whether to, to pop a onesie on or a or a, or a or a sequin thong. That'd be, ooh, irritation. Sequins, you know, there's... Mm -hmm. right. um, well, feel sorry for bees. I okay. always feel sorry for bees. Why? Because there's not very many of them left. No. Saved a queen bee this morning. Did you? Yeah, the dog was trying to eat hey. it. Hey! Was it like that? It was, instead, of, instead of going, as it, was, as it was going, bzzz, it was dropping glitter everywhere. <laughs> right? And fates off the yes, I am what cool. I am, as it was flying. Oh, okay. um, but no, but bees, um, as soon as it gets to a certain temperature, they explode. Worse, they ejaculate to death. What? <laughs> yes. So if the temperature, if a bee ever gets to over 42 degrees. I'm a bee then. <laughs> you're still alive. Yeah, <laughs> um, all this dust. Where's that come from? Right. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, so well, basically, they they, they ejaculate. They so, but only the boy bees. All, all the all the bees that you see flying around really are boys. Are they? Yeah, because there's only one queen. Is there? Yeah. All it's those boys. Learning things. Banging away at the queen. 
Oh my god, no yeah. girl. What happens if they have baby girl babies? So what if two things happen? So they either, eat them. Either they kill it <gasps> or it flies away and makes Oh, it flies holiday. away and makes another. I prefer that. Yeah, or so they kill, kill being it. Being eaten. The... So no, not eaten. Kill it. They don't go, they go, oh, look, a, a lady bee. Nom, 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 nom. They go, oh, look, lady bee, squish. Oh, dear. With a rolled up newspaper. Oh, um, some hairspray. <laughs> yeah, and a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, they get, so they get really hot. They get really hot. They, squirt they, 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 and die. They come and they keep coming. Oh. Right. I mean, if you're going to go. It's, it's not for the worst ways. I know. Is that an actual bee jizzing? That, that's a... Bees in it's coming out of Oh, it, it looks like it's setting on fire. That's just the resolution of the, the monitor. Oh. Because we have okay. to have it at a certain brightness to. Oh, that is a sad thing. It is a sad thing. But also a nice thing. All the bees dying. No, but if you're going to die, do it. You know, just do it yeah, just die of, of ecstasy. I'm not saying take ecstasy, I'm saying <laughs> ecstasy the feeling. That's where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's back to your story. <laughs> well, thanks, Mike. That's, that was informative and slightly arousing. Uh, you're welcome, Lee. Let's stick around because next it's time for the showbiz. <laughs> you're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for our showbiz with Lee. How would you like the sound of Hollywood's first studio-produced gay rom-com? Oh, well, it's happening. I didn't give you an answer. I just went, ooh. Oh, <laughs> do, do we think, do we feeling that? I, I do like to feel a rom-com. You do? Okay, well. Will it be ugly crying? I don't know, because I've not seen it, Mike. It's not out. Oh. I don't know the full story. So, Billy Eichner. Half the story. Uh, well, you know, I can, only do with what, I can only deal with what I've got. I can only deal with what I hate magazine print, Mike. Um, Billy Eichner, who's um, an actor. Okay. Producer, uh -huh. homosexual, okay. um, and in Luke McFarlane. Order. Yeah, and Luke McFarlane are falling in love, possibly in the new gay rom com Bros, not Bros. Okay. Bros. Yes. Um, apparently, it's Hollywood's first studio produced gay centric rom com. Oh. We've got a picture of the the poster of the film. There has never before been an actual studio produced completely gay film. Never. Really? Not even Brokeback Mountain. I'm not, I'm not surprised by that. Well, Brokeback Mountain wasn't a rom-com for a start. Well, I laughed. Um, but, you know, that's just me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can tell you're not a bottom. <laughs> Every bottom of the, uh, the audience went... <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah. You know, they, well, yeah. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, so it sees two characters, Bobby and Aaron who meet and try and figure out if, if they want to be in a relationship and what kind of relationship they're, they're going to be in. So one of them says to the other, what are you into? One of these ripped idiots with no opinions. Mm -hmm. One says to the other, and he goes, no, I like someone who's physically very frail and won't stop talking. It, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. yeah those um, people don't exist in real life. Trust me, I'm aware. Oh, okay. So it was, it was co-written by, by Billy Agner, along with the director, um, Nick Stoller, um, make, making him the first openly gay man to write and start in a major Hollywood movie. So, I can't, find it hard to believe, but it's true. No, I'm not, not finding it hard to believe, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So what he's saying is, is that it's, he said, only now... Um, Again, the studio produced Gary Robbie said, I'm not surprised, but I'm not, I am, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised because Hollywood often has such a hypocritical and LGBT phobic place that I'm happy that we're here now. Mm -hmm. We have a picture of the cast okay. for you, for you to cast your, your be cast, <laughs> put your, be <laughs> your beady eyes on, um, to, to see. So yeah, so that, the, the gentleman in the blue stripy top, that is Billy Eichner. Okay. And um, the guy with the, the sunglasses on. And that, the muscles. That, and the muscles. That, that is the other one um, so, that I don't know who he's... Who I can't remember what he's called. Um, uh, Luke McFarlane. Okay. And that's them having a snog. All right. And both of them looking, like, really weak and they don't go to the gym at all. No. No. I mean, it's, I mean Hollywood's not going to... It's not going to be too realistic, really, is it? Um, so what he's saying is it's a big sign of progress that in the same studio who's released Jurassic World and the Fast and the Furious franchises on these huge, massive global mm -hmm. um, uh, platforms with all the kind of promotion that they are actually st they are equally promoting an R-rated gay rom-com with as much enthusiasm as passion. 
as okay. the other movies. Which studio is this? I don't know that. Okay. Anyway, let's go on to something else. You're a fan of Queer Eye, aren't you? No. No? No. I was surprised at that. <laughs> I thought you would be. Anyway. No, I'm not a massive fan. I'm not going to stop doing the story. I know you're not. I'm not um, going to stop you. So, Tan France, who is one of the British guys that makes up the, the Fab Five. Yeah. Who he... Can, everyone must have a, a French tuck when he's doing them. Yeah. And it's like it doesn't... Which is half in, got, half out. If you've got a bit of a gut, it just accentuates your gut. Mm, no. Well. Sorry, Tan. Well, he's talking about how he feels that they could soon be replaced by younger versions. Yeah. Because um, he's saying what he says is that hey, there's, there's him, Anthony Porowski, Jonathan Van Ness, Karimo, Karamo Brown, and Bobby Burke. Bobby Burke? Is that his name? <laughs> yeah. It sounds like, <laughs> a, like an 80s that? comedian. Bobby Burke! Um, <laughs> so what he what... does. <laughs> <laughs> so what he's saying is, is that he feels that they might be replaced as they approach their middle-aged period. Their middle-aged period? How old are they? They're like in their early 30s. Is that is that middle-aged in gay years? Old in gay years. He says, we're all knocking on a bit. I don't know how much people will care about our opinion on fashion and hair or whatever when we go into our middle-aged period of our life. I'm sure that they'll want somebody younger and hipper to advise them. Surely that doesn't... Yeah, we've got a, we've got a picture of the cast now. Um... Uh, three of them are blind. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, they're all hot, though. That's the thing. Oh, no. What do you mean, no? I don't think all of them are hot. No. Nah, well, different moods for different times. D okay. Um, Anthony would be my first go, though. Which one's Anthony? One in the middle. The one in the middle. Okay. Mm. I'm not sure. Um, it's... This version of Queer Right is currently the longest running shows on Netflix. Yes. Um, and they've developed this massive following. Um, there's even like a, there's like a German spin-off show. Now, they're not in it. They have their own presenters. Mm -hmm. um, but the first time it kind of came on telly was Queer. It was called Queer Right for the Straight Guy. Yeah. And that was in 2003, which doesn't seem that long ago. Just like, it was you know. like a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, and they not had... 20 years ago at all. No. We've got a picture of the original cast. Mm -hmm. um, now... When this came out, they weren't particularly young. I mean, no. the, the, the guy in the orange, he was kind of the twink of the group, but the rest of them were not in the first flush of youth. No. Um, so there was Carson Kressley, who's now gone on to be in Drag, Drag Race. Race. Yep. Um, Kyan Douglas, he was the grooming guy. He, yep. was the, he was the one at the end with his arms folded in yeah. nasty pants. Um, there oh, was, was always wearing leather of shiny pants. Yeah. yeah. Ted Allen, who was the food and wine guy, who's the guy in the kind of beige um, suit. suit. Yep. Um, and and then uh, Tom F Tom Felicia, mm -hmm. he was the who was the, he's the guy in the orange thing. He was the design guy. I kind of think, do you know what? Why do they have to be young people in everything? See, oh, do we, do people not grow old? See, when I was growing up back in the day, right before before the grinders and before the, the grinders and the scruffs, and yeah, right. You used to have some an elder gay of the group, and this was someone that knew the answers to questions, so you couldn't Google how to how to douche. Right, so they'd tell you how to do it. You'd had like that point of wisdom that would tell you things about Polari and Where give you the wisdom. People? Well, they're all dead now. Oh, um, because they've been replaced by Google. So the minute so Google was invented, they just died. Well, literally, every single elder gay went. Oh, I can tell you something about the nineteen eighty. Dead, gone. Dead. Not quite sure where you're going with this point, but you know, but I, I think kinda... you know, having that older gay reference is a good thing. Not everybody is young. Not Correct. everybody's not attractive. Every... <laughs> <laughs> not everybody's you're going to attractive with Dolly. <laughs> but you know, let's have let's have some representation. Don't just but, yeah, put little but young... having an elder gay in your life, I think it's wonderful. Is this a read? No. Okay. Because people refer to me as their elder gay now. But you're like twelve. I'm thirty nine. I'll see. <laughs> I also quoted Ab Fab there. I love that. Mm. I can quote Ab Fab. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Six time can't. But yeah. Just just put a couple. Let's put five children in rainbow shirts and send them down the, uh, doing it instead. Now, finally, this week, we've got some information, some news about one of the the most famous people. He's not with us anymore. Just to say, he's gone. Oh, okay. um, children. So Michael Jackson. He's not with us anymore. Children. <laughs> no, he's children. <laughs> It's his children are not with us. No, they're still with us. Right, okay. But he's not with us. He's dead. Right. So well, if you believe that, but also there's a rumour that he isn't actually dead. It's because back in September. No, he's living on the island of, of, of celebrities that, <laughs> that fake their own deaths. So, so Michael Jackson had three children. He had Paris, mm -hmm. um, another one. <laughs> Blanket. Well, this is Blanket who we're going to talk about. So oh, okay. Paris Prince and Blanket. Uh -huh. So 
he's kind of gone off the radar for a couple of years, but he's back. Well, Michael Jackson, he's dead. <laughs> he's been visiting his dad on the island. Um, his youngest, commonly known as Blanket, has totally reinvented himself and given himself a brand new nickname to boot. Ooh. So his official name on his birth certificate is still Prince Michael Jackson II. Um, this is him, when you know famously Michael Jackson sort of hung him over the, the Balcony, side of them yeah. going, no, it's my baby. Um, and that was him. Suffocating him. That, well, he didn't want people to see his face. That was him at the funeral of, of his dad. Okay. Um, way back in, way back in 2002. Why is he doing a smirk? Because I don't know. All that money. Um, yeah. He's now 20. 20! Okay. Um, it's fair to say that the, the name that he's chosen... It's a little, he's, he's decided to call himself Biggie. Biggie? Biggie Jackson. Yeah. Um, so after an early childhood, a child in the public eye, he kind of disappeared, went and did what he wanted to do. He's back now. Um, he, he's, he's doing a lot of stuff with his brother and sister around, like, global warming and... Um, Singing Earth Yeah, that, that ah, kind ah, of stuff, yeah. Bringing the elephants back. Yeah. Um, but he's done a big interview where he's talked a lot about his dad. Um, we've, I think we've got a picture of him now. How, what he looks like now. Um, boosh. Oh, no. <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, no. I, I'm finding blanket fit. Uh, I know. I said, oh, no. I kind of would. He's got that dirty skater boy kind of, he'd wipe it on the curtains on the way out kind of look. Jesusy kind of look. Not Jesusy. Oh. Not stigmata. Well, he, he, so he's moved into Michael Jackson's old house. Which one? Neverland. Because they couldn't sell it. Um, yeah. So he said, "There's a re there's a lot." He goes, "There's a lot of really cool stuff here. There's a lot of history. <laughs> there's a lot of history here in this house. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So now he's a fully grown. Well, we'll just move on from that. Now he's a fully grown adult. He's re apparently he inv he, he, in he invested two point seven million of his own money. Okay. Well." His dad's money. Well, it's, his, it's his money now. Yeah. So. Um, and uh, he said to a compromise of six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a huge swimming pool, alongside a whole host of celebrity neighbours, some of which include none other, none other than TV star Kim Kardashian. Woo! Who cares? And that is the end of this week's showbiz news. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to get a dirty image about one of the Jackson children. I need to scrub myself clean. <laughs> and while I do, it's time to get ready for our game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week we are playing our new game, Movie Mo's. And this one's up for our deliciously. So off you pop, sweetheart. Tra. Love lying. Ah! Game of the Week. So in this game, Lee's going to describe a movie to me. I have to try and guess what he's blah 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 on about. Are you ready, Lee? I am, my guess. You have a choice of four categories. You have not for kids. Heartwarmers, remakes and reboots, and from another world. What would you like to start off with? Not for kids. Not for kids. Okay, so I'm going to describe the film by not using the words of the film. Okay. Okay. So, um. um Gaming Ryan's Privates. I, I haven't started yet. Okay. If you um, were born without a father, you might have been referred to this term in the olden days. Inglorious Bastards. Oh my god, you got it straight away. What? You got it? I know I did. Wow. This Why is that finally, a surprise finally might have found a quiz that, that is, is your... Okay, right. Okay. What what category would you go for? like to go for next? Um, Heartwarmers remake. Heartwarmers. That's Heartwarmers. Warm, warm fuzzies. Okay. Um, this... Is an animated film um, with animals in it. Bambi. No. Think more modern. Um, modern than Bambi. Um, 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 I think there is. I think there is. I think the animals play police officers and investigators, and there is a sloth that talks like that. In it. Um, Donkey Kong? What? Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong. No, it is not that. Um, um, think of, right, so, um, 
What do they describe a big city as? Another word for a big oh, city. Oh, Zootropolis. Yes! I didn't watch that. It looked a bit poop. Did it look a bit poop? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, what would you like? Remakes or reboots? Or Remakes and reboots. Okay. Okay. This one, again, I think there has been a live action one made and a um, animated one made uh, based on a Roald Dahl um, book about a very, very large gentleman. Very large in stature. I assume he's got a massive... Large heart. gentleman? I don't know. One would think. A important. large gentleman? Yeah, very uh, abnormally large. So some might That's say he's a... Yes. That one, but he's also kind. Fat. A what? A fat. No. No. Okay. Um, you said some ways he's a fat. So, um. So the word giant is in there. Yes. The Roll doll thing I can think of is James the Giant Peach. But James wasn't a giant, the peach was. No. My um, giant? It, there, is, there, is a, there is giant. He's. Giants, what are they? They are. Big. Yes. And what is it if you're nice to be? I know, hard, I mean, hard to, you know, put yourself in that position. When people are nice. Hello, how are you? Oh, you look nice today. That's called being... After Summit. No, it's not the big After Summit giant. Oh, the BFG. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. It was written by Roald Dahl, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Okay. Has it been a live action? <laughs> um, right, no, so... No, I'm asking a quick, because you said it was live action as well as an anime. It was, wasn't it, though? No. Was it not? No. I thought it's, it was. It's had CGI and dings in. Oh, okay. CGI. Is that the sign for CGI? <laughs> so, the, the, your, your choice, again, is um, from another world. Oh, I'll have from another world, then. Another world. Okay. In space. No one can hear you come. Yeah, we've had this conversation before. Um, um... Oh, what's he called? George Clooney uh -huh. in a space suit. Sandra Bullock in a space suit. In space. Just floating about. Goes horribly wrong. And I don't know anymore because I've not seen it. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if some, for this one. I so, don't if one of them dies in it. In space and someone dies. But it has Sandra Bullock and George Clooney in it. Aliens. No, they're not in that. The one, and it also is a song by Pixie Lot. <laughs> that's helpful. Yeah. If we don't have this, we'd just be floating around, Mike, wouldn't we? We'd just be floating around. It grounds us. Shoes? No, it keeps our feet on the ground. Can't see it. Can't touch it. Impression. Just know it's there. But in space, there isn't any. See, the only thing I can think of is gravity, but there is gravity in space. Well, it is gravity. But there's gravity in space. There isn't, though. There is. It's caused by objects, and it keeps it. So the planets orbit the sun because of gravity. Not because they get lost along the way. They're just, like, walking on one side. Wow, that was interesting. Okay, um, we've, we've reset... <laughs> We've reset now, so you can choose from not for kids. Not for oh, kids. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. So I, again, hmm. I think this is about a new game, Mike. It's going to be brilliant. I've got all these. <laughs> I have to try and explain it to you. you <laughs> I, think about, I think it's about a lizard. Right. Um. Another animated one about a lizard, and um, he's not tied up. Um. With a non fetish lizard. With 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 rope with chains and oh I've said the word but th there is a t so yeah that's about all I can give you about this one because I don't really know I think he wears a hat I think he's like a Mexican lizard um yeah it's gone quiet I don't because like because the that. only thing I can think of because you said the word chained and it might be not chained up anymore is Django Unchained? Yes! Oh, I'm on fire. Is that not the one with Will Smith? It's about the lizard, isn't it? The little lizard, the little cartoon lizard. Or Django. 
No, I didn't think it was. You got the wrong movie. Django Untrained is Will Smith, who's a freed slave. No, it's not. <laughs> the cast of Django Unchained. Quentin Tarantino, Jamie Foxx, Samuel L. Jackson, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill. And not do the voices. When Django, a slave, is freed, he joins forces with a bounty hunter to rescue his wife, who's been enslaved by Calvin, a hard-hearted pal- plantation owner. Is any, of them a, is any of them a cartoon lizard? It's not a cartoon lizard. It's about oh. slavery. I thought it was about that. No. Okay. okay no. Um, what would you like to go for next? Um, out of this world. Out of this world. From another world. From another world. Out of this world. Okay. So, oh, I like this film. Okay. Girl. Death. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie wasn't deaf. Tons of blood involved. Deaf, not death. Deaf. Can't hear. Oh, sexy, sexy creature in a bath. Ooh. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Works as a cleaner in a top secret um, American flubber. <laughs> um, they have to go down in the elevator. She's cleaning the room where the creature lives. Ooh, he's sexy though, and she helps him escape. And they go back to where she lives, fill the bathroom with water, and have and have underwater creature sexy times. Um, and then they go, oh, we've got to find him because he's important. So then they have to run away. And um, in the end, she's a sexy creature from the water as well. A bit arty by Guillaume. Guillaume de- Don't know the other words of his name. Guillaume de Toro. I don't know. It won loads of Oscars. Titanic. No, you fool! So, sexy creature in a bathtub. Yeah. She Well, he's not in the bathroom at the beginning. He lives in this, like, laboratory, and then she helps him escape. She feeds him eggs. She goes in every day to, um... (laughs) To... 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 to, See, Gallery know what it is. And she sits and goes, Yeah, they've got Google at their fingertips. Um, and she gives him a hard-boiled egg, and he likes it, and she gets his trust. And then she then she, then she, 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 she releases him and goes back to her flat. They live above a cinema. You, you, Given up. You give up? Given up. God, the shape of water. Never seen it. Have you never? You need to see it. I mean, from that description, who wouldn't want to see it? Um, so what would you like to go for next? Fantastic Beast... Oh, no, that was the name of... Oh, fuck, get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're done. We're done. Well done. It. So that was a new experience. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing, but stick around, because coming off... Oh, crafty Queens again, why? You're watching Chewing the Cud. I know it's time for Crafty Queens. I'm sorry. This week, I have taken inspiration from the internet, the TikTok. From TikTok? Have you been on TikTok? Well, it was on Twitter and then it it was, sorry. So there was a a, a clip of a gentleman um, who was creating art with his body. Oh, his, I've seen this. All his body. His naked body. Um, we've got is it, some... Is it not nude because he's, he's doing art? Well, he basically took all his clothes off, painted himself from head to toe, and then positioned himself on a large canvas. We have some pictures to show you, to give you an idea of, of what he was doing. Let's let's pop them up now. Oh! I'm a... Sh- <laughs> Dappy all over again. <laughs> Why did you just ooh? I'm assuming. Well, you see, I sent it to you thinking that you wouldn't, you would do something. You are you going to pixelate that out? <laughs> no. No. Oh, so yes, he's a, he 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 painted himself. Um, can you see the pervs in the background that are filming it? They're all. Oh, oh, I'd um, be helping him apply the paint. I'm not. Yeah, he me. did. He did a number of gymnastic moves um, okay. using his appendages his limbs to create art oh hello um he's done the splits now obviously <laughs> that's not going to be comfortable <laughs> can we now, go back to the second picture go back to the second picture okay Do if you look in that in that top right corner there yes right is that um david levy 
David Lenny. Levy, the one that did um, Shit's Creek. Dan Levy. Dan Levy. Um, I don't know. It looks like him. It looks like him. I don't know. Oh. Um, so, yeah. So, that's the inspiration. Clearly, we are not going to disrobe ourselves oh. and dip our Johnsons in paint. Because um, that would be humiliating. Okay. Um, well, for you, it would be. Well, um, oh I, wouldn't want, I wouldn't want you to feel to feel inadequate. So. Oh, it's not inadequate. So, we're going to we're gonna recreate using a selection of meat products. Okay. Um, as in sausages. Okay. Um, so we have a we have a variety of sausage sausages. Uh -huh. We have from 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 the from the quite girthy um, hot dog sausage uh -huh. to the kind of you know your, your typical breakfast banger. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the, a breakfast banger. Like a breakfast banger to to a to a to a more sedate um, compact um, pepperami. Yeah. Oh, it's um, still in its pepperoni condom. I don't eat pepperoni, so I don't know why they have. Why do they have like a plastic condom on them? To stop them, yeah, keep them safe sausaging. Oh, okay. Hmm. The idea is, is that there is no set picture. Okay. Whatever the meat tells you to do is okay. what you do. Do what the meat says. Do what the meat. You know, handle one. Pick you've one been, up. You've been talking, looking at my grinder profile again, haven't you? Are you like big meat for you? <laughs> no, it's a disappointing bottom for you. Well. <laughs> um, <laughs> disappointing bottom. Um, that's, that, could be type that, of, that could be the title of your album, <laughs> Disappointing Bottom. <laughs> um, oh, dear. Oh. Not my autobiography. My autobiography is the, the, the ramblings of an un uninteresting man. Oh, sad. Um, that's sad. So yeah. So I just squirt paint on on my sausage and slap squirt it. Squirt paint on, your, on the end of your sausage, um, and whatever the wh however the muse takes you. Well, create whatever you want. For some reason, I've gone for the large sausage. Have you? I'm going to go oh. for the medium. I'm going to go for the breakfast banger um, first. Um, oh, look at that! Yeah, um, just slapping me sausage on. I'm I'm the... I'm going. Well, I think I need to get my paint out first. I'm going to apply my paint to the end of my sausage. I'm using the shaft. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks like a finger. It looks like a finger with a nail, with nail on it. Oh, <laughs> oh my paint's dropped off. Um, oh, it looks like you need to go and see a doctor quite quickly. I'm just going to... Oh. Now, you see, that is quite therapeutic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one can only imagine what it would be like. I mean, I'm gonna, I may try that at home later. <laughs> Now, th now, these breakfast bangers are not a good quality. They they are a supermarket brand, and and they're very they're very flaccid. They're very. They're I mean, you, you might want something a little. It's quite quite quite. It's created quite a nice wave there. Yeah. On the thing, I, I'm I'm liking it. Right. Let's try. Oh, let's try. Let's try girthier. I just that my product got an image of um, Bob Ross spinning in his grave right now. To be fair. We're pushing boundaries, Mike. We are. That shouldn't be pushed for reasons. <laughs> Just saying. I'm going to pretend it's like um, mustard. Ooh. You're pretending it's like mustard. Yeah, and then I'm going to whop it on there like that. I mean, you can't. Yeah, this is this is what television should be about, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Meat products. <laughs> Food waste. Food waste in the middle of a, an economic... Um, crisis, yeah. cost living crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what we're going to do is we're not going to waste this. I'm going to wash them off and um, put them. Put, <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to put them on the barbecue later. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just telling me to do that. Man's telling me to seek help. Um, I think. I think I'll go for. I think I'll go for. Um, what colour should I go? So many choices. Ooh. Um. I'll go for some red and I'll go for another breakfast sausage. Are you a sausage lover in general? I, I do. I, I, I'm always up for a sausage. Get me a sausage. Get it in my mouth. Are we Are we talking about the... the yes. Edib oh, okay. No matter which, which question you're going to ask for, the answer is yes for that one. Um, so, yeah. Plah, 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 plah. Oh, that one's the the soft the meat is escaping. <laughs> the um, meat is escaping. meat is escaping. My sausage meat is escaping. Something quite primal. Uh huh. About it, yeah. Has Tracy Emin ever done anything with a sausage? I do. Tracy, Tracy Emin. You know the you know she's 
Oh, there's jelly on the end of my sausage. There's jelly on my sausage. Um, I think I'm done with the sausage. I'm going to try. You I'm think you're done with the sausage? Words well, that no one ever thought Lee would I'm say. I'm going to try a pepperoni, which comes in its handy, its own handy little sheath. Meat condom. Yeah, I think it needs. I think I need some yellow. Oh, I've I've had a bit of a. What are you doing with yours? I'm dabbing it. I'm using the texture of the meat. The texture of the meat. There is. Oh, I'm going to do a little spot. Oh, that's pretty. Um, it's a bit like when you was at school and um, they did like. I mean, to be fair, they never did meat sausage painting. Um, we did like you know like potatoes. Potatoes. Quite vigorous there, Mike. I'm being I very vigorous. I'm leaving. I'm leaving residue of meat behind. I'm being oh. vigorous. So when this goes up on someone's wall, it'll smell. The trap flies. I'm done. You're done. I'm I done. think I just, I just, just one more, one more, one more. I'm done. Yeah. Um. Let's so uh, let's have a look. Hold hold us up, Mike. Let's have it. Let's have a see. Oh, what are, what are we titling we, it? We've got, um, it's Sausage of Paradise. Sausage of Paradise? Because these are Birds of Paradise flowers that I've, I've oh. created using sausage. Wow. Well, this is mine. I've gone kind of more sort of abstract. And what are we calling yours? Um, I'm calling it Cock Canvas. For obvious reasons. Because um, you look like a massive cock. That is that 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 is that that would go for a that would go for a price. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll mm. give you twenty quid and never to show that ever again. Yeah. That's the price. So you know uh, you got to dry it, let it dry out, wash your sausage off, obviously afterwards. Um, <laughs> don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to paint your sausage. Um, Speak for yourself. Well, you know, um, and. Um, Hang it on your wall. Send us your pictures. Nobody's ever sent us a picture <laughs> of anything they've wall. ever made. But you know, there's always <laughs> <laughs> pictures Hang of your artwork, your not wall. pictures of your sausages. Although we would like those, isn't it? Um, <laughs> you're having a summer barbecue. Just send us a picture. Anyway, that that is the end of this week's craft cream. And remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, get down to Astor and get some sausages. Did you enjoy that? Um, yeah. I, I think... If you ever get an unwanted sausage in your face, just give it a flick, it'll go away. It will, it did, and it did. There we go. Beautiful artwork. I've got meaty fingers. Hmm. Nice. Are you going to wash those, those sandalines off? No. <laughs> Referring to your fingers, not the... No, I'll just wipe them on this. No, 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 no. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. You're not saying goodbye to the people at home? Bye. I waved. Okay. Sausage fire. Oh, it's like porn. It is what I would imagine the what a porn park would feel like.